Hi everyone and welcome back. I just wanted to discuss this very quickly because I've been butchering it. This is the oregano I planted last year and it is just taken over. Here is a pile I have going so far and this is the second time that I've completely cut this. So if you plant oregano and it survives through the winter, which 99% of the time it does, you can harvest off of it. Reason why I'm doing it is because it's kind of taken over my whiskey barrel and I want the fresh to come in. So let me show you how to cut the oregano. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Okay, do you see the stem right here? And then it's got some leaves right there. You want to cut above it. So let me show you what I mean by that. You're just going to get a stem, cut it right above the leaves that were below it, and then it'll keep coming back. You may have to go down a little bit lower. But it's getting all crazy already so this is my second harvest on my oregano like I said this survived the winter time so I noticed my time over here wasn't doing too good because it was being so blocked out by the oregano so I will dry this and then put it in my jar of spice oregano and it's technically the first harvest here um, our weather has been crazy my last estimated frost was initially the 21st and it was changed 20 to the 27th and then it was still impossible to plant um, a lot of things in my raised beds so and then last weekend we had nothing but rain so it's exciting to be out here and be actually harvesting something I mean I am getting some things planted I just don't have my peppers or tomatoes in the bed yet um, but I just kind of wanted to turn on the camera and show you how to do your oregano so you can get a harvest now and a harvest later and it's gorgeous basically just giving it a haircut taking it down make sure you leave the leaves below it and it this thing will take over uh, let's see. Cut this. A few more to go. And this will have its first official haircut of the season. I got a lot off of this last year. I love buying perennials. Um, I don't like wasting money on annuals. I like when they come back. Because if not, I just feel like it's a complete waste of money. So, this is my second harvest. I will probably get about four more, maybe six more harvests off of this. And it also pushes it down so that it doesn't suffocate everything else out. It wasn't getting enough sun. Don't mind Sophia. That's her job is to torture me and just bark every time I do a video. That's the little one. And there we go. Looks pretty good. And now maybe this will get some more sun. Because the oregano was coming up over. And that's how you give it a haircut. And it will be just fine. You can see where I left. Right there it has leaves below it. And I cut above it. This will be perfect. This will be fine. 
and this is my sage from um, last year as well I split from my original it has all this new growth on it and yeah so perennials is the way to go perennial means it comes back every year annual is just for that season so if you don't want to be spending a lot of money and you want things to keep coming back it's really the way to go so I think this one's German time um, cilantro lemon time is in this one this is the oregano I have curly parsley regular parsley which was also getting kind of smothered a rosemary and sage and I planted some seeds not sure yet until they come up same with this right here so hopefully you learned a little something this whiskey barrel is huge and I have a stack of oregano to dry you can either let it air dry you can put it in the oven my last batch is in a baggie I just have to pick the leaves off the stems and then you can grind it up with a mortar or pestle or you can use a blender coffee grinder and then just put it right into your spice jar so that is my video today I hope that that was helpful um, Perennial over annual, and we just did our first harvest of 2022 on my oregano from last year. Love you guys. Do all that fun, good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.